welcome back to Rebecca's Travels or if you're watching my lifestyle channel welcome back to Rebecca's Lifestyle today I'm going to be doing the latest travel news worldwide part 3 but just before we get into it I would like um, to tell you if you haven't subscribed to my channel please subscribe it is free um, both of my channels my travel and lifestyle channel and it's the red and white button on the screen all you need to do is just press it and also if you do click the notification bell I upload at least three times to five times a week and um, depending on my schedule because I work at Morrison's at work um, as my main job but I do this as a sideline um, that I just love to talk about both lifestyle and travel love talking about it and basically if you click the notification bell it'll give you every video that I upload in the week again it could be three times a week if I'm working a lot at Morrison's or it could be up to five times a week if like this week I'm not working as much at Morrison's so um, again let's jump right into it um, in regards to the latest 10 fabulous facts according to breakingtravelnews.com so let's fire away aviation demands a call back upwards iata has reported that passenger demands in july continues to a critically low levels and they're basically falling unfortunately to critical low levels um, measured in revenue passenger kilometer numbers were 80 percent below the levels seen last year well it is going to be understandable um with the pandemic but fingers crossed either later on this year or next year passenger levels will go up so again more uh, jobs and businesses will be saved uh, fingers crossed that uh, that is so hopefully it'll bounce back up again moving on now to uh, Brittany Ferries further routes demand has basically fell and um, so again Britain the ferries are cutting the routes um, after falls in uh, passengers the ferry operator said the following decisions by the UK government to impose quarantine restrictions on travellers arriving from space and more re uh, excuse me Spain and more recently France so that is why Brittany Ferries have made the decision to not do so many routes um, over to France however you can on Brittany Ferries get over to France but um, there's just not going to be so many routes as usual so hopefully um, Spain and France hopefully will become quarantine free again soon hopefully fingers crossed and Brittany can increase the routes uh, to France and Spain now number three this is um, good news or actually brilliant news Emirates adds Africa 
destinations to um, their latest route list which is the Emirates will resume flights to the capital of Ghana which is Accra and Ivory Coast their cap uh, capital is Abadajan excuse my pronunciation that is um, from the 6th of September so this week so that's absolutely fantastic news um, the addition to at these destinations takes the total of points served by emirates in africa to 11 wow that's absolutely amazing so again well done emirates and which is the united arab emirates airline and countries such as ghana and ivory coast um, in Africa and number four is brilliant news uh, such as signs of optimism in the hotel in investment market so that's really good news to the uh, leisure and tourism companies um, that new companies are signing hotel investment markets so really good news and um, so hopefully they'll be able to employ more staff at those places and customers will be able to travel there as well in those hotels um, and it'll be safe to do so so that's excellent news unfortunately TUI group cancelled Sakinthos trips or Santi trips um, there were, Sakinthos Santi is a Greek island and the trips again are over over COVID-19 fears um, so again it's just as well but it's just really unfortunate if you're going to have your holiday ca uh, cancelled and have to rebook or um, but basically if you can't go another time then try and get your money back and number six scotland and wales unfortunately removed greece from their quarantine safe zone so i i don't know whether england will be following suit but scotland and wales have done it um so again it is really sad but it, it's the best for your own protection and the people in Greece's protection as well and staff so uh, number seven I and O or I and D excuse my pronunciation again joins speak a line up um for the abita travel convention meeting so that's really good news so i hope the meeting goes as well as possible number eight titan travel pushes return back to february next year again with everything going on I think Titan is best to do that unfortunately it's not what the co uh, company wants but it's what's um, safe for the company and obviously customers that are traveling with Titan so I really hope to get fingers crossed to get back to their very best February next year now number nine 
Heighten re Number nine, high high act regency Sophia takes company into Bulgaria. So that's excellent news for the high ten regency hotel chain and all the best for that. So um, again, they're expanding Sofia, which is the capital of Bulgaria. And number 10, breakingtravelnews.com investigates sports tourism in Abu Dhabi, which is in the Emirates. It um, has welcomed a host of top class sporting events to the Middle East. So to find more about that article you can go on to and any other article that I've, told, I've been speaking to you about in this vlog more information you can go on to breakingtravelnews.com and there's more information about each article so thank you for watching and please like subscribe and share and i'll see you in my next travel video which is part four which is tomorrow and stay safe thank you for watching and bye for now thank you bye